Hey everyone, it's Maggie Butt here for a board game vlog. It is the second to last day of Jen Cant and the first day of Vlogist. So I may have recorded three different Vlogist videos today to try and kick this off right. So I'm actually going low stress right now. No worries if this is bad and whatever I record is going up because I'm super excited. So for the next 30 days, so 30 more of these, I should have a vlog about what I'm doing, and that most likely will be gaming related because that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> but <clears throat> I was getting really like, uh, I appreciate so much what Suze did uh, today for the rest of the world. Um, she has taken all the people that can't go to Gen Con this year and given them Gen Can't and organized it and give us prizes and raffles and photo contests and cool content to share and just taken the sting out of not being with all of our tens of thousands of friends out there buying the new games or whatever. And you know, honestly, for me, it's not the access to the new games. This day and age, I have access. I can get those things. But it really is, it's that feeling of coming together and seeing the people who are usually just avatars on the screen and not not being able to have that kind of weird one-off con experience with them this year. Um, that, that sucks. But if you make those days also important to all of us back home, maybe taking a little extra time out of our lives to do something special for Jen Cant, um, I have spent the last week doing nothing but gaming, but what we did that was a little bit different for me at least was to expand the people we were gaming with to outer circles. So someone that's in one of my normal game groups brought his normal game group to our, our night and um, another person brought a couple she plays with a lot to the night. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mixing these game groups was entirely successful and wonderful, and we met some new friends, and it made it feel a little like a con for us, right? Um, the other special thing we're doing, I, they got to do some stuff today. They went from game store to game store all day, but I was working. But tomorrow I will be trying to get a, a splatter game on a, t on a table, which doesn't happen all the time. And generally, you only get those kind of long games at cons, right? So we are going to attempt to deck dealer tomorrow. Uh, greed did not happen because someone got sick. And so we didn't want to greed without the person that was most excited to learn it. But guess what I got to play yesterday? I got to play Lancaster. And Lancaster is one I had been trying to find and play for a long while now because it's Matthias Kramer who did Glenmore. Rococo and uh, Croftwagen. It was really fun to be able to try out something uh, he did that it's hard to quantify. So you start out with the game with a couple of knights and in the game you can use different parts of the board to take actions. You can level up your little castle. You can level up your knights. Uh, you can fight France which is always good. <laughs> but anytime someone has like a bigger knight than you, they can come and like can kick you out of your action. You have to go somewhere else. Um, you can use resources to pump up your knights so people can't mess with them. And that's basically the game. And it's pretty short and snappy and pretty sweet. Um, not not as good as Rococo for me, but is still very cool. It's a queen game. It goes up to I think five players. Um, and it's pretty contentious. But it was very fun. I will be playing that at least one or two more times. I don't know that I'm going to bring it in and own it. But, you know, you know me. I, I might just end up doing so. Uh, so tonight we had, God, like 12 people, maybe more, for games. So it was very fun. We had about three games going at a given time. They played um, Lagrangia and Janko and Concordia. And there was a game of... There was another game out, uh, The Great Zimbabwe. I personally played a five-player game of Norin Burke, and then I played a third of the game of Lagrange Hub before the place that we were at closed. Uh, so it was very cool to teach Norin Burke. It stayed in my brain pretty well, and I kept thinking I must have been forgetting rules, but um, now the next time I teach it, I can probably do so without 
causing as, as much confusion. There was a little bit of confusion in just a couple of the ways that things worked. But it's a, it's a loud bar and, you know, those types of things happen. And then we played the first two rounds of La Grand Hat after teaching it, which took some time as well. Uh, I am super psyched, though, to play some more Nuremberg, and you know what I'm going to do is a longer, more in-depth look at Nuremberg in one of my vlogs, because I think that one doesn't, it's not, I mean, it's, no one cares about that game anymore, but it doesn't really have much content regarding it. Um, the last thing I'll talk to you about before I say goodnight, because it's almost two, um, is Ashes, Rise of the Phoenix Born. I did... Um, I punched it all, I organized all the decks, and I read through the rules today. I also watched the Watch It Played videos, um, so I feel like I'm very ready to begin. So Brian and I are going to play our first game tonight, and then we will play some more. Uh, I got an interesting question, they're like, oh, I can't, I can't play that. I, I bought Netrunner and I will never play it. I was like, you know what, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy the base game. I'm going to play with the pre-constructed decks, and even if I never get to the point where I'm making my own brews and kind of doing my own decks, there's probably enough in that box to keep me interested for a while, and if I really want to, I'll just use a net deck. Someone else is going to do the work. Um, it doesn't mean I have to follow it or play it competitively or buy all the packs, which I may buy some of. I don't know yet, but I'm excited to play it. Uh, the art is fantastic. The combat system is neat. So uh, I have a phoenix board that you're trying to kill, and then I've got allies, which are creatures. And your your creatures can either attack one of my allies, or they can attack me. After you attack, I can choose whether or not to throw defenders out to block, and those defenders can either just take the damage, they can just take damage counters and still be available on my turn, or I can exhaust them, and at the same time, well, the creatures will hit each other. So if you're going to kill my creature anyway, I'm totally going to exhaust it and at least get some damage through. Uh, lots of abilities, some cool dice rolling, lots of mitigated luck where if my dice don't agree with me, I can still do other things in the game to make the dice work. Really, really interesting. And uh, the art is Fernanda Suarez, and she does just amazing work, especially after I didn't pay attention as much to the art in Dead of Winter, because I only played it twice, and it wasn't for me, so I don't think I ever kind of looked at the cards, but the art in this is just above and beyond. It's amazing, and I'm super glad. I, I heard from someone on Twitter that she's actually working with Plaid Hat now, so if, if she just keeps it up and does all of their art, I mean, that's that's a great pair up for, for a company that does games with such cool, unique themes. Um, I also saw on Twitter a friend of mine asking Cloud Hat if they would just please, please, please make an RPG or a comic series out of the Ashes Phoenix Born. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Maybe comics would definitely be something I would read, but I don't know that I would necessarily do an RPG. <laughs> just don't, I don't RPG. But, uh, yeah, so you guys will be hearing plenty more from me, and um, if there's anything specific you'd like me to try and do a vlog on, I will try and do it this time. I really, really want to make it all the way through August. Um, my plans so far that I definitely want to do are the top ten of all time, making sure I have that updated, and making sure they're the same games as they were a year ago, which is kind of cool. And I also want to try and do a quick video walkthrough of either of my shops so you can kind of see where I work. Um, I won't be able to do the office part of where I work, but the office part isn't the pretty part anyway. So uh, that's all for me for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon. All the time for all of August. Good luck.